Islam is a religion of peace. Although I must say, the Islamists sometimes have a funny way of showing it. But no matter, no matter, no matter. Uh, Islam is a religion of peace. And that's why I'm so pleased to say that this month, it is Islamophobia Awareness Month. And this is when all of us in the West try hard to deepen our awareness, our consciousness of the scourge of Islamophobia. There is this phobia of Islam, which I think is one of the most serious challenges facing us in the West today. And it's become particularly acute in, in recent months. At the forefront of the struggle against the dangers of Islamophobia are two giants of the Western political scene, Kamala Harris and Keir Starmer. Now, Kamala Harris is an American stateswoman and thinker, and she has spoken most forthrightly against Islamophobia. And this, I think, is admirable. Keir Starmer, who is the great British socialist leader, is a man of unshakable convictions, a real man of principle. He's the kind of person that you'd, you'd want in the foxhole with you, uh, you'd want in the trench with you if, if you were ever uh, in a battle or, or a war. He's so principled, strong and manly. Now, Keir Starmer, again, has come out most strongly against uh, Islamophobia. And we, we in Britain and across the West are very, very grateful to Starmer for this. Islamophobia, what is it? Well, let's look at the definition. We have Islam, an Arabic word meaning submission. And I think we should all now in the West learn to submit uh, to the Muslims. It's, I think, the safest way to proceed. Submission, let us submit to their political leaders and to their militants and freedom fighters. So there's Islam, meaning submission. Then there is phobia, which is a, a Greek word. And this means fear. And so there is this fear of the Muslims. How can we suppress this fear of the Mohammedans? What can we do? Well, it occurs to me that, I don't know, I don't know what you think. It's just an idea I have. Maybe if the Islamists refrained from raping, abducting, and murdering people. Maybe if the Islamists refrained from decapitating babies, we wouldn't have a phobia of them. It's just a thought.